Hey guys, it's Beat on How's It Going? Welcome to another golf review video. Guys, in this video, we are going to be reviewing the Milesy PF260 Tour Rangefinder. Okay, this is currently available on Amazon.ca for $189, and there is a $30 off coupon that you can get through Amazon as well to help save you some money. So in this video, I'm going to show you the unit. I'm going to go over the pros and the cons. We're going to start with the pros first. I used this unit uh, the past week in Vegas when I was on a golf trip. And so I've had a lot of experience uh, using it so I can give you my overall opinion. And again, I'm gonna go with the pros. I'll start with the pros and then I'll go into the cons. And then later on, you guys can decide if this is the range finder for you. So let's get into this. So the first thing I wanna do is show you the box, okay? I always feel like when you shop on Amazon or a type of uh, store that's selling you something that's cheaper than what the big box stores sell, um, the box is a is a telling sign of what to expect inside. So if you get a box that's like really crummy and cheap, then you can assume that the unit's going to be cheap itself. But this box was actually like the Red Tiger, very sturdy. Okay, has a nice graphic showing you the unit. You know, has all the stuff here as well as the logo. So it's well put together. And inside the box, you are going to find the unit like the Red Tiger inside this very hard and sturdy case. I actually prefer this case over the Red Tiger one because I just find that this one feels a little more premium. I like that there's some depth and shape to it. It's not just round and it's thicker. So when I was actually putting this in my golf bag, um, getting on the plane, I was never worried about the unit getting damaged in transit because of this box and because of you know everything else that my clubs were sealed with. But this definitely makes me feel like it can take a hit and I don't have to worry about the unit inside being damaged. When you open it up, you're gonna get the unit all wrapped in plastic like before, but let's look at the unit. So I was actually really surprised uh, with the unit. Um, it feels a lot heavier than the Red Tiger, which is a pro and a con, okay? So by feeling a little more heavier, it feels more premium. Um, in a sense, um, not to say that the Red Tiger one isn't premium, but this one just has a little bit more weight to it, and some people might like that, okay? Um, it has like a nice rubbery plastic grip on the top and the bottom, has your power and your mode. So like the other range finder I reviewed, it turns off in eight seconds or so after using it, so you don't have to like keep pressing this. You just read it, set it, and forget it, okay? Um, it has a removable battery right here, which is great. It's a pro anacon, and I'll get into that later, but it's great that you can just remove the battery if it stops holding a charge and you don't have to replace the entire unit. These batteries are CRS2 batteries, I believe. Um, you can easily find them on Amazon. They're really cheap. They last a while, and again, if it stops, it can be recharged. So if you go to the back here, you can recharge it with the cable that it comes with in the box. But over a long period of use, if the batteries stop holding a charge, you don't have to get a new unit. You can just keep buying these batteries, okay? And if you don't want to recharge it, you can buy batteries that you just replace regularly. But honestly, these things do not suck up a lot of power. Like the Red Tiger one that I reviewed earlier, it still has full bars, and I've been using it a lot before I got this one, okay? So anyways, body, check, very good. Very clear lens has six time magnification settings, has uh, a range up to 1100 uh, yards. It can measure yards, it can measure feet, it can measure speed, it can measure um, even the height required to clear a tree or other things that are in your way. It's quite a neat little unit and for $189, it definitely offers a lot, okay? But it's not perfect, okay? So let's get into the cons. So the one thing that really bothered me about this unit was the magnet, okay? And I feel like the problem with the magnet is because the battery is taking up prime real estate on the, uh, on the device itself. So the Red Tiger has an entire magnet throughout the side of the body, and I never worry about that rangefinder falling. When I was in Vegas, I would literally, like let's say this is the side of the cart, I'd put the battery, sorry, the magnet here, and it would constantly do this. It would shake, it would move, sometimes it would fall down, because a lot of this 
area where that should be a magnet is the battery. So even though I do like the battery, I feel like this takes up a lot of space that could be a magnet and maybe in a future um, rangefinder, they can move this battery maybe down here. It's a very tiny battery. Like if I show you the battery, like it's petite. So you could easily fit it down here, right? And I feel like if they were a little more creative with where they put the battery, they could have made this all magnet and then that wouldn't be an issue, okay? So the location of the battery, even though it's a good idea, is a bit of a pain because it affects the magnet. I feel like with this unit, you either do the magnet well, or sorry, with a range fighter, do it well or don't do it at all, okay? So that was my one issue with it. I never felt like I could secure this on a cart and I was always worried the entire round that it was gonna fall, okay? Another thing I noticed was that sometimes it would attach to a target and measure it really quickly. And for the most part it did, but there were some times where it took a, it took a bit. Now that could be maybe me shaking, um, you know, could be human error, but I don't think so. I think um, maybe it was struggling to like uh, pinpoint the flag. Um, and I did turn on the pin seeker mode. And I noticed that sometimes when that mode was on and I was right on the flag, it would say like my distance is 270 yards, but really it was 170. So where I found this rangefinder to be super accurate is if I were to look at the bottom of the green right below the flag. Okay, if I looked at the green right below the flag, it matched up with what my 18 birdies yardage was um, and even what my friend's Arcos uh, distance was. Okay, so you always... Again, it's not going to be 100% perfect because it's $189. Okay, so you got to kind of, you know, remember here that you're getting something off Amazon opposed to Golf Galaxy or Dick Sporting Goods or Golf Town like we have here in Canada. But overall, for $189 with that $30 off coupon, this is a great little unit if you just need a quick range finder and you want to get out and not break the bank. Okay, for the most part, like I said, it's accurate if you're looking at the base of the green or if you're looking at a bigger object. I feel like where it struggles is when those objects get a little smaller. Um, but overall, I feel like this was a great little unit. And I do apologize for not being in my office for this video. We are transforming that into a nursery because my wife and I are expecting. Yay! <laughs> so um, I needed to find a quiet room in the house because there's a lot going on. But I wanted to get this video out there because I really do feel like Mile C is really close to having a slam dunk here. If they can somehow move this battery, make a better magnet, and make the uh, accuracy settings a little bit quicker and a little bit more pristine, I really think you're going to get a great little unit here. Okay, it's very easy to use. Slope, slide that to turn it off. It's nice gray and black. Turn it back on. I like the green. The colors are not lame. They're really good. And the instructions literally take a couple minutes to look at, understand what all the modes are. You just switch by hitting the M button here and you're good to go. It's a nice, easy little unit. And I do recommend it for anybody who does not want to spend $700 on a Bushnell. Okay, so I will put the link in the description below for this unit if you want to check it out and buy it. Um, I will also put an equivalent rangefinder for American Amazon, as this one for some reason isn't there. Um, I haven't been able to find it. Maybe you can, but I will put something there as well as the batteries. Um, and you guys can let me know in the description below if you do buy this. Let me know what you think. Or if you own it already, What do you agree with me about the battery? Let me know. Anyways, guys, thanks for all your support. I'll see you in the next video. If you liked it, like the video, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you later.